Musics for everybody, eh? Tony Chutusk is a pirate forest troll found on Frey Island in the Northern Barrens. He also appears later in Thousand Needles, first as a mob and then again as a quest giver in spirit form. It haunts the adventure immediately after they kill him during the fall of the Chew Tusk takedown quest. The mission is given by Weasel Brassbolts, who gives the adventurer a treasure and says the following. This treasure is all fake, but it's not like those damn wompers are going to know the difference, stupid ogres. So here is the plan. You head into the Emeralds Den and distribute this treasure to any ogres that get in your way. Then all you have to do is confront Tony Tutusk in order to get the rusted cage key. The Admiral's Den is a cavern found within the South Sea Holdfast. Here, the South Sea Admiral Tony Tutusk can be found with several elite ogres, protecting him from intruders. He later appears on Mount Hyjal as one of many known allies helping in the fight against Ragnaros forces. At some point, after the Cataclysm, Admiral Tony Tutusk, on his boat named Freebooters Fire, participated in the Megas boat race in Thousand Needles. He used a black hat with a skull and crossbones on the head, and his team consisted of the gnome Jinky Twizzle Fixed and the Goblin Rug Fizzle. Aramar Torn considered them a Nod group. Now as Tony, King of Piracy, he temporarily leaves the seas and enters the Festival of Legend as a trader a seller of the various accessories for the event attractions, and of course, possibly everything he sells is fake merchandise. Bootleg! The reference to its ability, his skills in World of Warcraft are offensive, so I believe that the relation is focused on his pirate class, making dubious negotiations, and in the end, he still wins, which is represented by the final card draw. As for the pet changes, there were never any changes to this card.